Now it might be a bit hard to tell um, on the video here, but <clears throat> you can see uh, you can see that muddy wallow there, uh, and then the ground sort of like rises up slightly a bit. Then I'll walk us through here. You can see it's quite muddy through here. It's, they've gouged out right down to there, and then she'll come back up. And you'll see a bit of wash just here on the surface. And you keep going, here comes another muddy wallow. And there's one just over there. And there's another one over there. And there is another one just up through here. With all this grass, it seems to be that the, yeah, the, the grass is growing in them. You can see that's just a grassy patch there, then it disappears again. Now this is another wallow here, if that's what they call them. And you can see how the, the wash is humped up. So instead of the ground being flat, there's another one right there. And you can see all my dig marks everywhere through here. And uh, it's always interesting to have a bit of a go around these old wallows, because what they are, there's another one up ahead here and that's where I'm detecting at the moment and I just popped another three out of there so you look for these signs because this is your window to the past because now what they would have done is wandered through here a hundred odd years ago seeing gold laying on top of the ground and they've just and there's wallows right down into there yet so I've got a lot of area here all oh, that's dug down in there so I'll give you a bit of a look at what I've pulled out of here just this morning. Maybe five, six grams there. Yeah, it feels like that. A couple of decent, not, nothing too big. Biggest I've got out of here so far is 1.8 yesterday. But lots of little pieces. So it's the window to the past, like I say. Because nowadays there's not too much laying around on top to give it away. So you spot these things and uh, definitely check them out. There you go, a bit of useless information. Oh yeah, back to detecting.